Boy, oh boy, I have a story today that I could not believe what I was reading. I mean, honestly, was shocked. Now, today we are going to be talking about Daniel Penny. If you don't know who he is, he is this guy. You've probably seen this picture. It's quite a cool picture, isn't it? He was arrested for getting someone on the subway in a choke hold. He was a homeless man, a drug addict. It was someone was I've read online, 42 different criminal offences in his life. You know, this guy was not a good person to be around. Now, basically, Penny was a 24-year-old Marine, um, and they, he was in New York. New York. Hey, I'm swinging here, I'm swinging here. He was a Marine as well, so he served your, the American country, and he's getting treated like this, which is incredible. And he was studying to be an architect, where he put the 30-year-old uh, 30 homeless man um, in a chokehold on a train in Manhattan. He had been acting erratically, yelling about being hungry, how he was needing a job, and he's, he was basically saying he's not afraid to go to prison, and he's not afraid to die. He was also making threats to other passengers and people on the actual platform platform itself. Now, he got him in a chokehold. He was on the floor for, I think, I can't remember, the, the something like 20 minutes or something like that. He was in a chokehold for a long time. He wasn't trying to, like, kill him. He was waiting till the police came, obviously. Penny was charged with manslaughter because he obviously died in the second degree and criminally negligent homicide. But basically, so the trial began uh, in October, which is crazy, isn't it? He was in self-defense. The defense who obviously represented Penny was testifying that he acted to protect himself and the people around him. Um, while the prosecution said that Penny was reckless and excessive. Now, if this is true, he was shouting shit, threatening people, saying, I'm going to attack you, I'm going to hit you, I'm going to beat you in your face, whatever he was saying, then why why, why have you just got to sit there and take that? People are human beings deserve to be able to defend themselves and others. That's why, in a way, the, the Third Amendment or whatever it is in America is so important because it's the right for every individual to defend themselves and their family. The jury was deliberating, requesting review key evidence. They've been going on for months now. It's December. They wanted the body cam footage, all that sort of shit, bystanders, whoever it is. And obviously everyone's a bit concerned. Some people think, you know, uh, this guy is the, um, you know, a hero, should be, you know, put in the Hall of Fame type thing. Other people think he was some sort of vigilante, you know, pretended to be what it was. So this is obviously ongoing. Um, a lot of people have said, oh, race, brought in race into it like they do in every single thing. This is nothing to do with a man's colour. This is to do with uh, a good human being, a Marine, trying to protect and save, which he was taught to do whilst he was in the army. East Village in Manhattan, so I take the subway multiple times a day. In this instance, I was coming from school. I got out of class around 2.15, and I took the J Street, I was at J Street Metro Tech, took the Uptown F train. Um, at 2nd Avenue, um, a man came on, stumbled on, he was, appeared to be on drugs. Um, the doors closed, and he ripped his jacket off and, violent, and threw it at the people sitting down to my left. I was listening to music at the time, um, and he was yelling, so I took my headphones out to hear what he was yelling. And the three main threats that he repeated over and over was, I'm gonna kill you, I'm prepared to go to jail for life, and I'm willing to die. You know, this is a, this was a- So that's a serious threat, serious allegation. He's just said out loud to these people, like, yeah, I am gonna hurt you, I'm, I'm gonna do something. If someone said that to you, if you're a girl, you know, or, or you know, a boy, obviously anyone, but if you're a solo woman, this isn't sexism, this is a fact. You'll feel very uncomfortable. This man was defending and simply doing what he felt was right. Any person on their own being told they're going to be killed, threatened, attacked is going to feel shit. This guy actually maybe didn't save anyone. Who's to say he wasn't just on drugs and talking shit? That could have been it. But he absolutely made people feel safe and ended the situation there. Yes, he died. But do you think he died just because of the choking? This is a 30-year-old drug addict who was going to die either way or the other. Now, I'm not saying he should have died, and I'm sorry he died. I wish he was still here so he could get help. But this is the parents' fault. This is his friends and family's fault. This guy should be in an institution, not creeping around the fucking railway tracks, shouting things at people, attacking people, humiliating people, making people scared to go to work. That is not right. That is not what human beings do. And for this guy to be potentially going to jail because he saved or intervened, disgusting. And, uh, Mr. Don't Graham forget, Hunter Biden has been pardoned he's for more. He's, he's a, I'm 6'2", and he was taller than me. So it was, and there's a common misconception that Marines don't get scared. We're actually taught uh, one of our core values is courage. And courage is not the absence of fear, but how you handle fear. And, you know... I was scared for myself, but I looked around. I saw women and children. He was yelling in their faces. See? saying, I said that. Saying these threats. I couldn't just sit still.
Some people say that I was holding on to Mr. Ely for 15 minutes. This is not true. Okay. I mean, between stops is only a couple minutes. So the whole interaction less, lasted less than five minutes. Okay, apologies. Okay. I'd like to correct. I did say it was about 20 minutes. I read that um, in an article out on New York Times or some New York Post. Uh, that's obviously a lie now. What a surprise. The news, news media say I was lying. trying to choke him to death, which is also not true. I was trying to restrain him. Uh, you can see in the video, there's a clear rise and fall of his chest, indicating that he's breathing. I'm trying to restrain him from him being able to carry out the threats. And then some people say that this is about race, which is absolutely ridiculous. I didn't see a black man threatening passengers. I saw a man threatening passengers. Thank you. What a great, what a great phrase. Put that in your fucking news article. He saw a man. It doesn't matter what race you are. Oh, you go. We should start. We should step in and help them. People. Oh, he's black. We might get in trouble. Now nah, let him die. Let's walk away. Fuck this shit. I'm out. You know what I mean? That is not. That is not how it works. It doesn't matter if you're white, black. If you look like a Simpsons character, you should absolutely, absolutely intervene if someone is in danger. So this is just another one. At the time of his death, he had a one active warrant for alleged assault with, with fuck, alleged assault in connection with 2021 against a, a woman, and he had 42 prior arrests dating between 2013 and 2021. So this guy's not some sort of like holy hill, you know. This isn't like, um, you know, they're tr maybe they're trying to turn this into a George Floyd 2.0. You know, I'm not saying that's true, but they're trying to make this to be like, he, you know, this guy's a criminal. He's on drugs. His parents didn't love him. No one cares. His parents are only involved now because they have the opportunity to make some money out of his death. That's the only reason they've come back. They weren't trying to help him. They weren't trying to save him, put his life back on track while he was addicted to drugs, which is a serious mental illness and needs help. I'm not saying, you know, ditch these kids in the subway and leave them. No, they need help, but the parents have to get involved. The parents absolutely need to do more and I blame the parents much as I blame anyone else in this. Just one thing I find pretty disgusting. Um, Daniel Penny put a homeless felon in a fatal chokehold stopping from attacking passengers. His bail was 200k, which obviously he couldn't afford. Mohammed Izzedin, 22, raped a woman at knife point after breaking into a home and he was released without bail. So there you go. There's there's something to brighten up your day. Now, also what the cops say, this is an article. They This is a, an official quote. He was very dirty. Cops in Daniel Penny trial blame Phil Phil of HIV for not performing mouth to mouth um, to actually help the homeless victim so they you know when they got there they didn't perform CPR tried helping him anything like that you know as a police officer you're meant to give your life for the public they did not do that they um, were too scared that they might have to brush their teeth after or something like that now that is obviously a very serious um, caution I get that but it's your job mate if you don't want to do it don't become a police officer sip of coffee you know don't do that then so this is him leaving car, court. I just can't believe it's gone this far. This guy saved potentially people's lives and he's treated like a racist criminal. It's so loud. Wow, sorry. I feel bad for him, you know. He's not like a bad human being, you know. He's not a drug addict. He's not some sort of crackhead. You know, he's got a loving family, I presume. All this, that and the other. And the guy, um, you know, is... is threatened hundreds, you know, whoever was on the fucking train and now that's it. They, they, you know, they've had enough. See, look at this. Now, this is the bit that pisses me off the most. So the dad, the family who didn't care enough to look after their kid, didn't give a shit about him when he was on the streets addicted to drugs. Now he's dead. They're going to sue him as they deliberate the verdict on the chokehold death. So now that he's dead, they want a bit of cash in their bank because they demand justice. Uh, justice and one damages in some which exceed the ju juridical limits of all lower courts. What the fuck does that mean? These two are despicable and disgusting. You've lost your son, but you kicked him out on the streets. You left him homeless. You did not care about him when he was there and addicted to drugs. Or if you did, well, I'm sure they did. You didn't do anything to try save him. Now he's dead. You're telling me, yeah, well, we'll cash in on this. Let's make a bit of ch 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 chinga. No. No, no, no. This is as much your fault as it is his fault as it is Penny's fault. You are all in the wrong and it's despicable, it's disgusting because he saved, you know, potential lives. And I'm saying that lightly because I'm not saying anyone was in threat, not at all. He was in a chokehold for six minutes. I read it somewhere, it was 15, so I'm a lying dickhead, sorry. But look, this is him there in a chokehold trying to defend the people. So he died from a mix of schizophrenia, drug use, genetic condition and the struggle. So it wasn't just the fucking thing, you know what I mean? I mean, it's a joke. Look, these parents have really pissed me off because when they, their son needed him, they weren't there. They were nowhere in the picture. He, they were just, you know, living wherever they live, 
Now there's an opportunity to make a quick buck because their son's dead, which I'm sure they feel sorry for, absolutely, but where were you trying to help him? I'm not seeing any evidence of that, of you trying to interfere and actually make him a better human being and make him have a better life. Let me know what you guys think because I think this is despicable. Um, not only is Daniel Penny, Penny absolutely being blamed for something he shouldn't be, this is defensive, this is absolutely what a hero would have done. I'm not calling him a hero because I'm, you know, nothing happened. But he defended these people, and because he was on drugs, his heart was probably all over the place. And he, you know, whatever, he was choked to death because he was shouting, "I'll kill you." Someone shouts, "You kill you." What are you going to do? Anyway, guys, cheers. Bye.